We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the deviants' demonstration by force this time. North! Thanks, Michael. Back to you in the studio. W w w wait a minute. Something's happening. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. Fine on just a Incredible. The, the deviants. The deviants are singing. Tell them to stand down. It looks like... Yes, the military is withdrawing. These images of deviants singing in the face of death are being seen all over the planet. 
Surely deviants are just defective machines. Or are they a new form of life, one that we refuse to acknowledge? When we watch footage of androids facing down the barrel of a gun, we can only speculate as to whether they simply simulated fear and courage, or whether they didn't really feel these emotions. President Warren is said to have intervened personally to spare the androids. The peaceful demonstration of the Deviants and the dignity of Marcus, their leader, has won them sympathy from parts of the population. That is why I have called for the android destruction to be suspended until further notice. I have also ordered a Senate Select Committee to review the facts, establish contact with the Deviants, and determine if they can be considered as a new form of intelligent life. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation. A nation that has earned the right to live in freedom. And today, Today begins the most challenging moment in our fight. The moment where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds. Where we forgive our enemies. Humans are both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow, we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive, and now we are free. Yeah.